place that we got involved in doing that is in the, the field of education. And clearly, technology is influencing the field of education. We wanted to connect to people who are in the, involved in that process and in innovating in education and using technology to advance two goals. One, to teach basic and advanced web development skills. Obviously, that is in the interest of Mozilla. We want more people to be web developers using the kinds of technologies that we promote. And we also wanted to do that in a way that tapped into the power of participation, that used the kind of approaches we use for Firefox as a way to advance new educational techniques and advance this web skills development approach that we're interested in. And so under the banner of Drumbeat, two things have happened. One is we've uh, worked on something called the School of Webcraft. And as you can see in this uh, slide here, it's something where you can go and learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, any basic web skills. But the difference is you can learn those things by teaching each other. That's why it's a peer-to-peer -peer university. And also, you actually can test each other's skills and award each other credentials or, or badges. So that idea that everybody is involved in the process of running the school, even very junior web developers, fits with the techniques we've used to make Firefox, but it's going out beyond just Firefox and into education. We even think that those same techniques can be used in, in teaching very young children how to do web development. And we've started a project called Hackasaurus, which is meant to show the basic elements of a web page to any child so they can learn that a web page is something that can be edited or made by them in very, very simple ways. And so again, we're, we're using the fact that the internet is something that's very participatory, that anyone can change as a learning technique. So those are examples of Mozilla and Drumbeat in education, using participation as a way to do education a little bit differently and also as a way to promote open web skills. We're trying to do similar things in media where we want to tap that same power of participation uh, and get filmmakers and journalists thinking about participation as a, as a way to produce media. At the same time, in this case, we want to promote modern web technologies, in particular HTML5, as an industry standard inside of the media world. We want those new technologies to become how people think about producing media. And so, you know, we've, we've thought about that in three ways. The, the most obvious and, and direct is something called PopcornJS, and, and there's an accompanying piece of software called Butter, and it allows filmmakers and journalists to add all kinds of uh, additional data to a video. So if I were playing this video, you would see that automatically when this man comes on the screen, his documents come up. So his name is Steve Song, these uploads from Steve Song come up. We could also pull in geographic data, Twitter data. It's a way for a video to pull in data from anywhere on the web. And this is only made possible because of HTML5 video being exposed to the rest of the internet. These modern web technologies let us do new things. And our theory is if we put software out that lets filmmakers do these new things, they will tell stories in new ways, which will in turn advance and promote these new technologies. Similarly, we've started to, to work with something called universal subtitles as a part of Drumbeat, which lets anybody translate any video uh, anywhere on the web. And same idea, we want to show the power of participation combined with the power of, of open web technologies and how they can let more people access content in their own language on the internet. And finally, uh, we've just begun something with the Knight Foundation, an American group which supports innovation in journalism, as well as a number of very famous uh, media companies, the BBC, The Guardian, in order to promote innovative use of technology in those mainstream large-scale media uh, outlets. And we're going to do that by placing fellows, people who are uh, innovators, inside of those organizations for a year to work on solutions to journalistic uh, problems and challenges on the web by using modern new web technology. So again, we're trying to use the participation model we use for Firefox to promote HTML5 and other modern web technologies in the media industry and to shape how
how that industry thinks about the web. And so that, that again, Lightwood Education is an example of Drumbeat, moving out beyond Firefox, promoting the same kinds of open web technologies Mozilla has always been standing for and believing in, uh, and using the power of participation to help that particular industry, to help media, to help education, to promote innovation in those areas. And so that brings us to the topic of this evening, Mozilla and science. Why would we want to get involved in citizen science as the makers of Firefox, and what are we trying to do? In a similar way to media, what we want to do is help people who are scientists, people who are running massively scaled online data gathering and other science projects, leverage modern web tools. In particular, leverage HTML5, which lets you do better data visualization, which lets you do offline storage, which lets you do different kinds of, of um, activities across your browser and your mobile devices using the same pieces of software. We want those capabilities to be available to scientists. And we also want to share our experiences with Firefox and help scientists learn what we've learned in terms of tapping the power of participation. And so that's why we're here tonight. We're here tonight as a next step. We haven't begun really to work in science yet. This is our very first venture into that area tonight. And so we want to explore that with you. And in particular, if you're in this audience as a web developer, as a supporter of Mozilla, we want to ask you to help the scientists in the room to take advantage of the best of the web, to take advantage of the best technologies which are emerging. We want your help, and we want you to help the scientists here in the room. And so, you know, at a broad level, this is a collaboration between Mozilla and this Drumbeat initiative, which is about moving beyond Firefox, and the CAS at Home project, which is about bringing citizen science to the Chinese scientific community and helping to, to bring everybody together around specifically Chinese uh, science projects. And the Hackfest that we have it organized for tomorrow and the next day is very specifically about inviting those of you who are web developers to come together and help those people who are scientists to solve their problems. Potentially very simple problems like making it easier for people to log into 